all you need Even if it's just you and me Hi guys, this time I just want to show you another game tutorial. Basically, allows you to create your instant logos without the hassle of um, altering the effects or, you know, if you're in a hurry, you want to produce your logos instantly, you can actually do that with GIMP. All you need to do is select the effect, input your text, alter the color, whatever, and boom, you have your own logo. So to do that, GIMP, if you download it, it actually comes with extensions. So we have file, then XTNS or extensions. You click that, and we go to logos, and a variety of um, text effects you can choose from. I know I had made videos about text effects, but in this video, I'm just going to show you how to create your logos instantly and without the hard work. So we just choose our effect, let's say Alien Blue, input our text, be here artist, um, change the color, change the font size, change the font style, whatever you want, hit OK, and boom, you have your own logo. That's pretty cool. So let's check another one. How about Starburst? I'm going to change the color to let's say blue. And make your artist again. Hit OK. And there's her text. Very nice. So last one. Let's say glossy. Okay. So we'll just go in with the default and I'm going to type in geeky. And here is our text. So all you need to do is alter some settings if you want to and just type in your text and there you go. You have your own logo. But it's not really a tutorial, I just showed you how to create logos instantly. So I'm going to add in a bonus. What if you want to add reflection to your logo? So I'm just going to create a new window here. I want black. I'll just okay. Type in the text. Okay, so before we type in whatever you want, uh, make sure you have selected a font style that's bold or have thick sides just to emphasize the reflection so let's say going with geeky artist so and I'm going to change the color to white okay let's say 50 close move that here okay geeky artist so this is a bonus how to add reflections not only for text but on other objects that you want to add reflection with so this technique applies the same so anyway uh, we go to our layers window hitting control L and then we select our text layer like so we duplicate that select the duplicated layer go to layer go to transform and then flip vertically like so we move the vertically flipped um, layer there aligned with our original text like so then we go to uh, layer then transparency then alpha to selection like so so you'll see the famous dotted lines or dashed lines around our text now we go to our gradient tool black and white or white and black or whatever de depending on your background so in my case my background is black so I'll just go with black for my background and white for my foreground and we're going to um, draw a line across our duplicated layer and boom there we go so we select none and then we just merge our text layers merge down merge down and there you go so we have a text 
with a reflection. So if you are having a different uh, background, you can change the um, the foreground to whatever color your text is, and then the background to your background. So if you have a different background, just change the colors, and it will produce the same effect. So there you go. Um, another set of text effects for you guys. More and more videos to come for all your requests and suggestions. Watch out for your videos. I'll be doing them soon. I'm just busy with school and stuff. Anyway, this is just a quick video for you. So to all my subscribers, I appreciate the stuff, guys. Um, please check out my YouTube partners there on my channel. More videos to come. And as always, just have fun. See ya.